I first uh, started coaching, uh, in a sense, in, informally uh, in my role as chief medical officer at uh, my previous company, GlaxoSmithKline. Uh, it was more of an informal role as a physician in a company of executives who were feeling sometimes stressed and um, burned out and didn't know who to go to, especially at their level, uh, at, the, at the senior most areas of the business and felt like the physician would be a good confidential kind of person to talk with. And, um, but I really felt that my only training was medical school psychiatry and I, I didn't really feel that that was adequate training for me to help them beyond just being there and supporting and listening to them so I actually went into formal training and found that to be extremely valuable uh, both just as an individual and a human being to really um, understand myself better because that's the part of, of of the coaching learning process is you, you start with yourself um, and then you can mobilize the energy and the, the insights uh, in others. And that formal uh, then training really helped me um, grow as a person who could not just support others, but actually help them make sense of some of the things that were really troubling them. And, and you know, being a physician, it's about helping and caring and healing. And a lot of these issues aren't, in a sense, medical or even psychological, but can lead to medical issues or psychological issues if un unmanaged. And I found that so much of the self-imposed um, extra stress people put on themselves because of not feeling they can um, manage um, the complexities of work or the change in work or values have shifted and there's a, a sense of dissonance between themselves um, and, and where they are and, and helping them come to terms with that and, and um, helping them adapt or grow uh, from that is, is hugely powerful and actually helps them overall in their physical and mental well-being. So I felt really, you know, good in that respect.